Moses released this what, huh? Rules of Talk CSS since I oh. learned from someone else. If you participate in any way whatsoever, you get chocolate. Thrown at you. If you ask a question, you have a comment, anything, you'll get chocolate thrown, thrown at, at you. Thrown at you. You may like chocolate, you may not, yeah. but you'll get chocolate anyway. Thrown at you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this well, is to encourage participation as well as... It hasn't worked out so far, but no, why not? I will keep persisting. So Firefox 55 released um, the early this month, and so there is the frames timing function, which is related to CSS animations. Uh, there's actually a lot of uh, interesting CSS animation functions that are starting to come out in the sense that um, they haven't been around very long. I mean, there's always been in working draft status, but browsers have been implementing them. Uh, we may or may not cover this. If I can strong arm any one of my still remaining friends to talk about CSS animations in upcoming talk CSS. Um, a few other bug fixes. One thing that's interesting is that the CSS variables feature is enabled all the time, meaning if you're using CSS custom properties um, on Firefox, it's going to be forever on uh, Firefox 55, meaning you don't have to worry that people won't be able to, as in you can kind of, if you didn't write a fallback, you can just ask people, oh, it looks better on Firefox, but don't do that, always write a fallback. Um, Safari Technology Preview 38 was also released and it now has carrot color support. So carrot color is now actually very, very well supported. So if you didn't know what carrot color does, um, you know when you try to input text and then there's this like blinking um, type thing where you're supposed to type your text? Now you can add color to it. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a good reason for this. Uh, I mean, it's fun. You can like make it bling rainbow colors or something. Rainbows. But that, yeah, that's that, that's always an option. Uh, so that's that. A uh, few other interesting CSS properties. Basically, the point of this segment is to just inform you all of the various CSS properties that exist, but you may not know because they are. The last time I checked, there are 499 distinct CSS properties, and I'm sure nobody knows all of them. So there's this thing called the CSS type OM working draft. This one is more of a CSS object model, so it's actually very technical, the specification. Not so much for you to actually use in your work, but it's more of, uh, related to when you use JavaScript. So inter interested people can click on the link and read the spec, although I'm very sure none of you do, even though I talk about the spec every month. There's also the CSS <coughs> containment module, which I mentioned a couple of times uh, because now this uh, this particular specification is constantly being worked on so there are like, updates all the time but the containment module basically it it helps in terms of performance in that if um, if you're not too familiar with how browsers render things basically what happens is that it comes in stages right so like you first have to it's like layout then paint then uh, composite so what this particular property does is that it you can tell the browser if this particular uh, elements uh, can be rendered independent of the rest of the page. So in a in long story short, it, it kind of, you don't have to re-render the entire page if like you change something on a particular section. So in a sense, it kind of saves in terms of uh, the browser doing work because it's like, okay, I only have to re-render this tiny bit. Uh, it's now candidate recommendation status, so it's it's kind of advanced along the spectrum now. So maybe this will be out. I don't know next year. Um, CSS text module is now at level three. So the text module is the is the specification that covers all your like white space, your word break. Okay, it's not called word break. Break something. So that's the that's the specification that covers those things. And um, so. They have updated it a bit, um, if more with regards to the breaking because that's a hyphenation. Um, hyphenation, basically now there's an algorithm where you can sort of manually indicate that you want your word to be broken up. Uh, you can also let the browser do it for you, uh, but it may or may not end up where you want it to break, things like that. So. This particular specification controls those type of things, and um, it's still working draft. So I don't think most of, 
I think Chrome has a lot of the hyphenation stuff, but maybe not other specs. Last one is scroll snap module, which is the scroll jacking module. Um, this one, this, this is actually quite fun um, in that you can actually sort of use CSS to scroll jack. I mean, I know some people say it's not a good idea, but I mean, it works when you want to, maybe you have like an image gallery, which is like horizontal scrolling. It actually works very well with keyboard, so you can like just, oh, keyboard press right, and then like, shoo, nicely, yes, yes, sir. What do you say? Yeah. I'm really trying the other one, the Desmopatia website, and it's very it's great, but the, the problem there is you have mouse wheels, you have double it's, it's really buggy. It was buggy when I talked about it last year, so... so um, like, is it possible for Chrome? Um, like, in, in the, the the, the polyfill wasn't updated, so it doesn't uh it doesn't work with the newest um value. So, so the implementations vary between browsers. So in Firefox, for example, when you say like from the whole page to log, and then you go to the next one, when you do one scroll, they'll tick, and it goes to the next one in Firefox. Whereas in Safari, it's more like a flick over multiple steps. That makes it so that it's not horribly implemented. Okay, folks, so the moral of this conversation is this specification is still being worked on. So when a specification is being worked on, it's like if you write it this way this month and then when they update it, then your the keyword doesn't work anymore. So it's good to try it out, um, but don't expect it to work correctly. Ta -da! Okay, so that's, that's that. So I want to introduce our first speaker, uh, Moray who is going to talk to us about how to speed up your animations. So let's welcome Marie.